Hey everybody, Laguna here. Uh, this is part two of kind of my uh, Laguna guitar history series that I've been doing. And uh, so in the last video I showed you the first electric guitar that I ever owned. And so this video was the first electric guitar that I ever purchased personally. And this is it right here. Uh, commonly referred to as, well, simply the Green Dean. I used to call it Venom back in the day because it had that kind of more in the vein of uh, Batman and Bane, that kind of venom, and uh, just the deadly toxic nature of, you know, like a rainforest creature, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so I was about 15 when I bought this guitar. I, uh, I was offered a job at a local pizza place here, Taos Pizza Outback, and... Uh, I worked there for like three months when I was 15. <clears throat> you know, it was mostly okay, but I don't know. Really, at the end of the day, I just hated it. It was a cool summer job, but uh, once I started going back to school and I was working there on the weekends, it really started to suck bad. And so I had been to Santa Fe, and there was this little uh, music shop in this strip mall, and... Uh, they sold a lot of different things, piano stuff, um, whatever, but they had they had guitars, and I remember walking in there, and I saw this guitar hanging there on the rack, and it jumped out of me, as it does, just because of the striking, you know, color, and uh, that's really the reason I wanted it, because it just looked so cool. I played it a little bit, but to be honest, I wasn't really concerned with playability, I did, it looked awesome, and at that point, I was really into metal, and I was kind of starting out. We were doing the Sectarian Violence metal band, so this was just a perfect metal guitar, and I wanted it, but I didn't have the money at the time. It was like 300 bucks, and which is not a lot of money for a guitar this cool, if you ask me, but I didn't have it. So, <clears throat> so I got the job at Taos Pete's Outback, and as I said, I only worked there for about three months, and... Um, I uh, it was getting I was getting to the point where I was about ready to quit, and I calculated how many shifts I would need to work to raise the money to buy this guitar. And so, once I figured out how long it would take me to have the money to get this guitar, I uh, I gave my two weeks notice. Now I was 15 years old. I didn't give a proper two weeks notice. I didn't walk in there and say, "Hey, I just want to let you know that I'm." you know, giving my two weeks notice, I, there was a note left, you know, it was kind of, it was kind of a, a, a childish way to quit the job, but I was a child, so, you know, what can I expect, but anyway, um, I quit the job, and, um, the day I got paid, um, I noticed I didn't have as much money as I thought, and that's because when I gave my notice, I calculated this many shifts, but they only gave me, like, two more shifts, you know, probably because I didn't really leave on the best of terms. So I got two more shifts, which left me short on the amount for the guitar. But nonetheless, we went to Santa Fe. We got in there. It was still there. Thank God. I pulled it off the rack. We took it over to the lady and uh, she handed it to the, the, uh, the guy who was working there, like the tech. And he took it in the back and he was checking it out and making sure everything was working and just, you know, giving it the rundown real quick. And uh, the lady threw the price at us and and I was short. I didn't have the money. I didn't have all of it. I don't remember exactly, but let's say she said, you know, let's say she said 320 bucks and I had like 280, right? And I was like, my mom was helping me. She was kind of trying to help me work this deal with this lady. She goes, oh, well, we got this much money, you know. And she's like, oh, okay, well, well, I'll knock off the tax for you. So she was hooking me up there. She knocked off the tax, but I still did not have enough money. And uh, to my mom's credit, again, another woman in my family helping me score a guitar. She threw down the difference. Uh, I think it was about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. She threw down the difference for me to get this guitar. And I walked out of there with my brand new Dean. And let me tell you, that drive back to Taos was probably one of the longest in my life. Because I was just so ready 
to pull this thing out of the box and start playing. We stopped to get gas and I, I pulled the top cardboard box off and I just kind of stuck my hands in there and strummed it a little bit and touched the fretboard just to get a taste of it because I wanted to play it so badly. But anyway, I got to play the guitar and I own it now and now it's one of my favorite and most classic guitars. So I'm going to keep doing this as long as I've got guitars to talk about. So stick around for the next one and please like and share. Thank you.